All right, what is up, y'all? And good morning. Welcome back to a brand new episode of E Kriegs Outdoors. Today, it's a good day, but it's raining right now, which is not good because it's our weekend. We only get so many days to hunt, but it's raining. What we're gonna do is drive to the property. I'm gonna just sit there and see if it keeps raining, stops raining, what's gonna go on because we only get so many days to hunt. I wanna be in the woods, but I also don't wanna be out there if it's gonna be a downpour. I'm gonna be slipping in my stand, be getting soaked. If I shoot a deer, maybe I can't track it well. <laughs> Who knows what could happen with the rain, but let's get going. We'll see if this rain maybe will let up. Well, rain or shine, Jack is still out. <laughs> He's just chilling in the driveway. Come on, Jack, let us go past, buddy. What's up, Jack? How you doing, buddy? Come here. No, not today. Get out of the rain, bro. Okay, I made it out to the property, and right now it's actually just drizzling. As I say that, just picked up a little bit. Uh, we're going to just wait a little bit and see if it picks up or not. I'm not worried about it getting light out uh, just because the rain. I can be quiet on the way in. I could hunt a drizzle, but I'm not hunting if it's pouring out. So we're just gonna wait here a minute and see what happens. That's pretty cool. Um, that was pretty cool that Dan shot an elk this morning. Yeah, that is cool. I told me he's, he's gotta get us, give me some backstrap. I'm gonna go mule deer hunting out there next year. I don't know if that's something you're into or. Hundred percent, I'd be down. Well, as you can see, it is much later, and wonderfully, it stopped raining. So we're gonna get out for a little evening sit here. Really nice fall day actually right now as long as the rain holds off and maybe we'll be able to get us some bucks rolling in. Real quick, I'm gonna shoot a couple shots with my bow before I leave and then we're hitting the road. Feel good about how I'm shooting. Now it's time to hit the woods. The hardest part about going hunting today is going to be having to say goodbye to these Mike and Ikes. Oh, I might just have to take the bag with me. I mean, can you even imagine a prettier drive? This is gonna be an awesome night to hunt. Leaves spawn. For good luck. Goodbye, Mike and Ikes. Goodbye, Shark River. Hello, Big Buck. One thing that differs for me going in uh, to the woods for an evening hunt instead of a morning hunt is I like to knock an arrow when I'm going in at the evening. Obviously, it's legal shooting light. If I see a deer, I could shoot it um, and just this way you know I'm ready to go if I see a nice buck on my walk in I've got everything ready to go for in the morning it's not legal shooting light you wouldn't have an arrow knocked and going along with that also got to make sure if I have an arrow knocked I have my release on let's hit the woods the 
stand and situated. It's so quiet out here right now. Looks like it's gonna be a perfect night. Let's go. Very excited. Now the waiting game. All right, I'm coming through with an update. I've been out for a couple hours. It's getting dark now. I haven't seen a peep of a deer yet. I don't know if the wind's making them be on the other side or what. I thought we'd get some action at this stand tonight, uh, but we still have some time left. Probably about 30 minutes or so of light. I made it to the property, I'm ready to roll. I just heard some coyotes actually barking off in the distance. Uh, sounded a little spooky. It's still dark out, uh, but I'm gonna brave it out and get to the stand. I'm in the stand. It's getting a light out. Things are coming alive. Hopefully, I get some action today. Real nice day in the woods again. Beautiful fall colors. Check out all these leaves. Okay, it's 9.40 a.m. right now. I've just seen uh, four does so far, no bucks. But at least we had some action. Cool just to see them come through. And uh, now in the field in front of me, there's a couple cows. Not what we're looking for, but <laughs> I guess they're animals. Y'all, just look at how pretty the leaves are back here behind my stand. That is wild. Even when you don't see anything. It's still so nice to be out here. Unfortunately, no bucks for me this morning. I do real quick though want to go check my trail cams. I haven't checked them in a few weeks. If you remember, we had that bobcat. Really nice buck on the one. Uh, so we have two out right now. I want to check those. Hopefully we get some cool critters on them. Let's go give it a look. Okay, I'm coming up to the camera right now. Hopefully it didn't die because I don't have enough batteries to change it. Oh, looks like it's still on to me. Here's the mineral lick that we put out. Doesn't look like that much messed with it. Got my laptop in here so I can look at the pictures right now. Need to get one of those <laughs> phoned SD readers. So I've got photos of a few different does on here. Uh, one thing I have to fix is the dates wrong. We need to get that fixed before we put this back in, but only 15 photos. I'm not sure what's happened here. Um, looks like there was different days, so I'm expecting that it's still working. I don't know though, um, but there wasn't a picture of me when I walked right in front of the camera. There should have been a picture of me, so maybe this thing's not working. I've got the date now set correctly. Need to get the time. Okay, it took some pictures of me, so I know it's working. Guess there's not a lot of action at this spot, which is good to know. We're going to leave it for now though. Here's the feeder we put up. Still has some corn in there. Lucas did tell me he saw some deer eating out of the feeders, so at least they're eating some. You can see some scraps down here. Maybe I ought to put some corn around here though, so it's easier for them to find. Not sure. Possibly as it gets colder and the surrounding crops get harvested, maybe more deer will frequent these feeders. So check out that track right there. That's a very big deer, probably a big buck. Okay, headed to trail cam number two. Okay, so I'm headed to camera number two and look at this scrape, pretty fresh right there under this licking branch. That's a really good sign. Okay, camera's right there, but first I wanna put some corn in this feeder. There's still some in there, but you can see 
It's been getting eaten. Very good sign. We got a good looking buck right there. It's hard to tell exactly how big he is. Looks like maybe a six or an eight point. It's a little blurry. Right there's a doe eating from the feeder. That's a good sign. He's like, what's up? There we go. Another nice buck right there. Might be the same one. Getting a lot of good buck pictures on this camera. Three separate pictures of bucks. Who knows, could be the same one, two or three different ones. I'll have to do some investigating. So I made it home. I really hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Eat Creeks Outdoors. That's it for us today. Uh, I'm actually going to do some squirrel hunting right now, but if we're successful, that'll be a different video. Uh, not every one of our deer hunts ends with a uh, big buck, but you know you learn some stuff every time, and at least you get outdoors and uh, free some headspace up. Beautiful time of year right now. I hope you guys get outdoors as well. I'll see you right back here on another episode of Eat Kriegs Outdoors very soon. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching.